Today is a special video. Um, well, I'll move this camera. Yeah, so today I am heading into a Toyota dealership to check out the new Supra, which all happened very unexpectedly. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this. It's going to be an awesome video. Um, so hopefully we're going to meet up with some of the guys on there and get talking about the Supra and see around it. And I'm going to put this video up probably after, like that, we're a bit behind in the vlogs um, and the projects, uh, so they're maybe a couple of months behind, but this is going to go up tonight. If I film this today, this video is going up tonight, so stay tuned. Next time you see you, I should be pulling up towards the Supra itself. So, I've just arrived and I'm looking straight at the A90 or Mark V, depending on what you want to say. Supra and holy shit, am I blown away. I don't even know what to say. You probably look at my glasses, you can probably see the reflection. It is unbelievable. I'm just gonna go in here and see if I can get talking to the my guy and um, then I'll start filming. I'm just gonna bring the camera in with me and um, see what happens. But holy shit, does this thing look good? So as you can see from behind me, I'm in Kelly's Toyota, it's based in Letter Kenny. I this is going to focus on my face now. And uh, I have the keys to the A90 Supra, and it is right in front of me. Um, the guys in here are awesome, hey? they were uh, just basically handing me keys and says, work away, do whatever you want to do. It's right here, that's what it's for. So the car is. That's a sneak peek of it. <laughs> um, Cause I want to get the other camera out and do some uh, glamour shots. But um, before I do that, there, I'm going to get in. And give my first impressions. Oh my god! This car. This is the future guys, this is the future, hey? Maybe I need to trade on the 86, eh? I don't know, what do you think? Wow. Even the seats. I can see what people mean. I know there's a lot of controversy with the whole um, BMW-Toyota collaboration in this. And I can see a lot of BMW elements, especially in the, the gear knob, etc. Or, I don't even know what's called, the gear knob since it's an automatic, but, and the likes of this here, which kind of, has a lot of BMW-ness in it, but the carbon fibre, this must be the launch edition, is it the launch edition? I thought, no, it's not, no plaque. You see the plaque is uh, there for launch editions, but, oh my god. So, since I have the key, I suppose it'd be rude not to start this thing. Drop the keys. Where's the start button? Oh, there's the start button. That's very quiet. <laughs> Where's the button that makes it noisy? I probably should have done my research in this car before I started the uh, clicking things. Look at the seats. But, So good. And the aircon is actually blowing my face at the moment, and that's pretty amazing because it's pretty warm today. But I wish I could drive the car. I don't think I'm allowed to drive it. Maybe I could persuade them. What do you think? I'll we'll try. But I want to get this in sport mode. Where's sport mode? Mode. Replace battery. It's not a good sign. Um, where's sport mode? Ah. Maybe the big giant button right there. This is sport. Sport. Oh, the backfire is unbelievable. I don't know if you can hear it. That 
burble. Oh, God, I want one. How can I get one? I need one of these in my life. Wishful thinking. So, I don't know, and this is a bit all over the place because I've really have unrehearsed this. It was all spur of the moment and I didn't really know what I was doing. So, what I might do is I might grab the other camera and do some glamour shots and let you see the car. So, next thing you'll see is the, the, the beauty shots. So now that you heard that fantastic engine and seen my uh, glamour shots, um, I was just talking to one of the guys there and this is actually one of the only ones in Ireland and I think I'm actually the first to do a video on it. So that's pretty badass like. So in Ireland I'm the first to uh, cover this car. Um, it only landed here on Thursday last week and they had a launch on Friday so that's I feel very I feel I don't know I don't even know what they say I'm kind of a bit overwhelmed by the whole thing um, that I'm actually here really filling this so like just pointing out a few things like I love the fact that they have the original Toyota logo and the original sorry Supra logo it's just so cool like and then little things like if you heard the crackling of the exhaust and things like that unbelievable but even the factory wheels they got engines actually running at the moment and it's that quiet you kind of hear it with the size of the brakes it's pretty cool but yeah Unfortunately, I can't take it for a drive because it's not technically road legal at the moment, I think. Um, and I, for, for someone to test drive, that is. Um, so I'm not really able to take it out, but hopefully, I can call back some stage and take it for a test run. Um, and maybe trade trade that thing in for it. <laughs> Wishful thinking. But oh my god, I just don't know what else to say. Like, I know the, the design, like the body lines, like even how it swoops down to the vent in the door and then swoops back up again to the vent in the, what you think is the wing, but it's actually the bonnet. That's unbelievable. The designer was the same designer. I can't remember his name. I'll flash his name up on screen. I'll flash his name up on screen, but the same designer designed 
Saint 86. I think he's come a long way. I'll give him a pay raise about Toyota. The little things like the rear, just the rear spat. Oh, autofocus, maybe, maybe. And how it flows, like, like that's straight out of the streets of Japan. This type thing, like it's not something that you would think you'd see in a production car. It's like something Paul Green and Profit Kits would come up with. If he was handed a bare Supra and says like, lad, we need to design some shit for this. But yeah, we're going to end the video here. Actually, it might have been a bit of a bonus video coming in a second. If I can go and see the, the 86 uh, TRD kit on it here in the back. So I might see if I can go and take a look at that and I'll, sh I'll shoot a wee bit of a video on that compared to my own. But as far as the A90 Super goes, What a car. I'd like to thank uh, Kelly's Toyota in Letter Kenny. Um, a flash of details up on the screen. So if anybody's interested on this completely unbelievable A90 Supra, give them a shout. Because it's the only one that you will get for sale in the next while in Ireland, other than Toyota's own one that they have as a demo car. So if you're looking for a Supra and you've got loads and loads of money, give them a shout. Then give me a shout. Because I want to go drive on it and do what I'd love to do it right now. So, until next time, guys, like and subscribe for more of this badass content. And I'll see you next time.